Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Yara Mel and I love showing you guys alternative ways to get dressed and look stylish, honey. So, since you guys loved my scarf tops video, I thought I would start bringing you guys more inspiration on wearing scarves or pieces of fabric, especially for summer because, you know, it's the most appropriate time to do so. Therefore, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and yes, click the bell ring so you won't miss my next video. So today I'll be using this beautiful and big piece of fabric to create five cover-up styles that you can wear on top of bikinis or even make a whole outfit from. So let's start. So for style number one, I'm going to begin by passing the fabric through my back. I'm going to grab the two upper corners and tie a knot behind my neck. Now, I'm going to hide this excess fabric around my bum by folding the sides of the fabric until my waist, like so, and then take the ends and join them at the front. And now I'm going to tie a knot with these ends. I'm also going to do the knot towards my right side. I'm going to tighten it so I can get my waist snatched. <laughs> then I'm just gonna arrange everything and oof, I already love how this looks. Now for styling, I'm just gonna add these cat eye sunglasses for some edge, a basket bag, pair of hoops for some extraness, and my tongue sandals. second style I'm going to begin the exact same way I did for the previous one but this time I'm going to grab the excess fabric on my back and join it on the other two ends behind my neck I'm going to take the hair tie to put the three ends together and then I'm going to tuck it all in just to hide the secret <laughs> now I'm going to take the bottom ends fold the excess fabric up to my waist like so and pull some fabric just to tie the two knots on the front. Lastly, I'm going to hide this excess fabric in the hole that was created when I folded the excess fabric just to reduce the amount of loose fabric <laughs> take a shot anytime I say fabric just to reduce the amount of loose fabric in front of the leg and this is the final look so cool and casual it leaves the bikini top exposed as well which is <clears throat> fun <laughs> so for styling I'm gonna throw on slippers to keep it super cash a necklace to make it interesting and a basket bag that fits all my pool or beach essentials. Okay, now I'm going to give a break on dresses and create a top. This is how I'm going to fold the fabric, guys. It's a bit hard to explain, especially because the fabric is just so big, but I hope you can see. And then I'm going to pass it through the back. I'm going to take beads from the excess fabric and tie it around my waist. Then I'm going to take the outer corners from each side and tie them together. that I'm going to knot this knot into the previous knot <laughs> I promise it's not as crazy as it seems as you can see here and then I'm just going to turn everything around so that the knotted part goes to the back 
Lastly, all I have to do is pass my arms through the holes created by all of this folding and knotting. And yes guys, my fabric is a tiny bit, I mean it's way too big to create this top. You're better off making this one with a scarf of a standard size, okay? I promise. Now for styling, I'll be wearing denim shorts on the cutaways because it's appropriate. For shoes, I'm gonna go with Converse All Stars, I'm gonna put a belt on, my whoops for some glam and a bucket bag. Going back to basics now and starting with the upper corners tied in a knot behind my neck. I'm going to grab the bottom corners of the fabric of both sides. Fold the fabric up to my waist. Then I'm going to grab my right hand, pass through the right side of the dress and grab the corner of the left side. And I'm basically left with a crossed skirt. So I'm going to drap this front fabric like so, looking good, and then I'm going to tie the ends of my skirt at the back. Some minor adjustments and yeah, here we are, ready to party. It looks like a party dress, so for styling I'm gonna go for heels this time, you know, take it a little extra mile. I'm gonna wear my gold and glam earrings and a party mini bag. I might have saved the best for last or not but I'm just obsessed with this last style one more time starting with the basic knot behind my neck all I'm going to do is simply cross wrap these sides of the fabric like so then I'm going to grab this beautiful gold belt and put it on my waist now I'm going to grab all this extra fabric and pull it through the belt because it's too much fabric sagging right I'm going to use the excess of the fabric to sort of hide the belt. It's actually going to give a very cute draping effect as you can see. Then I'm just going to arrange the front part a little bit and oh, this looks so good. Metallic belts have such a magical touch. And this is it for this style basically. I love it. I want to get married in this. Just kidding, I don't want to get married. Now the belt makes the look very glamorous but I still want it to be casual so I'm going to wear these white tongue sandals, these simple but glam gold earrings and I'm going to go with a small bag because the dress is already too empowering. This is an African handmade clutch that I love and here we go! So this was it guys, these were the styles that I had for you, please let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite, gotta give credit to Brisa Gada Silva because she is the mastermind behind most of these styles, if you go to her Instagram you'll get so much inspiration on how to tie up scarves 
All I do is literally recreate what she does and show you guys how to style it and make it wearable. But all the credit goes to Brisa because I think she's absolutely creative. And one more time, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. I mean, don't consider, just subscribe to my channel. I'm bringing more videos like this as well because it's summer and there's a lot to inspire you guys on. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Mwah, mwah. Bye!